We're back, people, and today we're going to film on the Miami Dolphins offensive lineman, Connor Williams. Big get for them in the offseason and give them three capable offensive linemen, which is more than usual. I know that O-line is still a weakness for the team, the biggest weakness right now, but he's been a really consistent player up front in the center. I could see them moving him to left guard because his biggest issue is snapping the football, but overall, really like what he's brought to the team, so let's get right into this one. Williams will be center in all of these clips right here. This is a really impressive play getting out, reaching the linebacker, and just using your angles and then cutting off with your hips. Obviously, play doesn't go as planned, only getting one yard, but he does a really good job on this play. Gets out of his stance really nicely. He's got nice athleticism, and to reach the linebacker that's basically in like a 20 lined up over the guard here, gets out, able to cross his face. Even the guard try, or the linebacker tries to cut back to his inside. He's able to stop, hook him up, and then completely make this lane get opened up for the running back the other linebacker obviously scrapes over the top but he does his job here cutting off giving a clear lane gives his back to the running back really like his positioning here great aiming point great leverage everything really clean from an athletic and technical standpoint on this play gets his hands into the chest to reset and then drives him away so really good work hips everything to put yourself in the right positioning on this play, Williams does a nice job showing his anchor as a center. You got to have a strong anchor because with help to both sides, it's hard to beat them with finesse moves. So got to be overpowered, got to be stout up front. And he does a really good job initially fixing that hand right there. That's a really good job technical wise with his hands here. Resets that left hand, gets low, extends the hips, wins this leverage battle, and then sinks to get this anchor right here. You can see the nice flexion, wide base. Got like the bow-legged stance here. So everything looking really nice from an athletic standpoint, from a technical standpoint again. And then you like the play strength that he plays with at the point of attack. So yeah, love his fit on the inside. Would, would like to see them maybe try him at left guard with Michael Dieter at center. That might improve the O-line a little bit overall. Don't think it's a huge deal just because the snaps have not been super consistent this year from Connor Williams. But just love the smarts that he's brought to the inside the tenacious style of football play just overall a really nice pickup for the Dolphins to play center you got to be one of the smartest players on the football field you got to be able to pick up these twists these stunts does a good job with his eyes here really impressed with this play staying patient and then once the edge comes back around he just reads this the whole way he's sliding out to the left he's reading 97 going towards the b gap right here then gets his eyes to 55 stays patient the whole time and gives up a little room to the inside here. And once that happens, Zedaria Smith tries to go there. And he just watches him out of the play. So really good job. Staying disciplined. Good work with his eyes here. Overall, a pretty nice rep. He's pretty good technical from a standpoint. Staying square at the point of attack. Playing with low leverage. Pretty good hand placement. Good base. Everything right there. Nice bend to his game too. Uh, so yeah, nice flexibility as well. Really nice rep right there from Connor Williams. This one right here, an interesting rep from Connor Williams because he does a good job one-on-one -on -one in pass pro. And the one Skyler bricks the pocket, he just sticks with the play. Obviously, it doesn't make too much of a difference there overall, but I love the effort here. That's very important. Obviously, center, he's sliding to the right, helping Hunt on this play. Gets a little bit of help, but then able to square him up. Basically, completely neutralize this D-tackle, take him out of the play. Doesn't allow him to get too much yardage, penetrate, disrupt the pocket. Everything perfect here. Hands inside the chest. The base, all really nice, good hip flexibility. And then once he starts to break the pocket, this is a good job not holding onto the D tackle because a lot of times when quarterbacks escape the pocket, O lineman will hold once the D tackles go. And he just keeps his hands inside the chest, doesn't let the guy extend to get a holding call. It's a really nice job. And then I like that he sticks with it overall, um, almost actually gets in front of it. Just love that effort from Connor Williams on that one. I love the patience that Williams plays with. He lets the D lineman come to them and he's just strong at the point of attack look how strong his right hand is here to just stop him in his tracks that is stopping power good grip strength at the point of attack he's using this as like a drag hand to feel and help out the guard here stopping him to the inside and he knows he's going to force him to cut over here to his backside and he just uses that right hand to stop him in his tracks you can see how it lifts up the shoulder right there gets him off balance that is power that is play strength and then once he does that, just perfect hand placement, one high hand, one low hand, and he's like turning, trying to get the D lineman's shoulder up and just gets him out, creates a clean pocket for Skyler again. So really like what he's bought, brought in pass pro 
and also has done a good job creating some movement in the running game. A lot of the Dolphins' most successful runs this season has been behind Williams and Hunt. Really good job working combo blocks and just driving this D lineman out of the play. Obviously, they get the combo on him, and then it just becomes Williams. He does a good job, good aiming point here, attacking low underneath the armpit, drive him out of the play. You just create all this space, and then, you know, could have been maybe blocked up a little bit better, maybe a better run by Mostert to maximize the yardage, but he does his job here. So, yeah, really good job. Love him working on these combos with Hunt because they create so much push. They've done it all year long, especially once they get in the red zone. They've done a great job allowing running backs or like on QB sneaks, just creating a push, picking up those extra yardage. Look at the leg drive. Look at the push that they're creating. All this space being created for the running back just off the combo and even tries to come off and help on another combo. Like this is really, really nutty stuff from Connor Williams. Gets into the combo. He attacks the low hip to create all this movement. Look how much push they're getting up front. And then once they create a nut push, he's even getting his eyes to another defender. I love this. You have so much push. Hunt has complete control. You have complete control of the combo. He's getting his eyes to even a linebacker to possibly even help on that. Obviously, the run gets stopped somewhere else, but they pick up a nice solid five. Just creating so much push up front. Really like his fit in the McDaniel scheme because he's got the athleticism to work on these zone blocks and really understands how to work combos too. Uh, on inside zone, outside zone, whatever it may be. So really like his fit and what he's been able to do so far for the Miami Dolphins. Really would have liked this play not to have been blown up by the edge here, but watch Williams really work this combo and climb to the second level. This is like really good teach tape type of stuff. Gets the combo, this time working with Eichenberg to the left. Gets Eichen like creates the push. Get let's allow Eichenberg to get complete control. And once Eichenberg is in control, Climb to the second level to take the linebacker, and this would have been blocked up pretty nicely, but the edge shoots the inside and forces Mostert to bounce. Could have made so much more space back to the inside if this was open, and then Mostert would have had the room to either make the cut here or here, but the edge disrupts it, but really good work overall from Williams using the combo and then climbing to the linebacker, and if it was blocked up nicely, he would have been in perfect position to allow Mostert to make a cut to the inside or the outside. Great job with his hips here, getting around, crossing the face of the defensive tackle there, Hunt and Williams. This is pretty much Hunt and Williams again. Like I've been saying, they've been dominating the running. Work the combo. Hunt does a great job allowing Williams to cross the face of the guard. And once Williams gets complete control, then Hunt climbs to 57, which creates this big lane here. And Williams gets his hips across and ends up just burying the D lineman. Doesn't allow him to create any more space to get into this gap. And then boom, big hole for Mostert to hit. Allow your explosive playmakers to make explosive plays when they have all that space. Really good job there from Williams and Hunt. Honestly, love the duo. That's the only reason I probably wouldn't move him from center is because once if you move to left guard, you don't get to see those combos that him and Hunt have been working. Obviously, he could still work combos with whoever the new center would be, probably Michael Dieter. But just him and Hunt working together has been outstanding. I know the Dolphins lost this game versus the Jets, but honestly, the offensive line in the run game was bullying the Jets' D-line. Look at the push they create on this D-tackle again. The combo was just dominating. They moved this guy from the hash like four, five yards, almost like a couple yards away from the number. That is really, really impressive stuff from Williams and Hunt here. Hunt is in a little bit of control, but this is really Williams driving. Look at the leg drive. Pretty quick, choppy feet there too. Good footwork. Nice burst that he has. Nice bend that he he plays with in those areas. The four Bs, the bend, burst, base, balance, all pretty good from Williams. I think his biggest issue, I've seen him overextend a few times in pass pro and he'll end up on the ground. But for some reason, he's actually not like when the O-lineman ends on the ground, they usually just lose instantly. He does a pretty good job like at least giving the quarterback an extra half second once he goes to the ground, like keeping his hands on or like driving them out of the way without getting holding calls too. Another big run here from Mostert and Williams does a great job getting to the second level. No one's covering him here. They're working the zone toss and he just climbs. When he's in this position, both guys, D tackles are lined up head over the guard and he knows he can just climb to the second level here instantly, not being covered and then just takes him, drives him out of the play gives Mostert a decision here either to keep this back to the outside track but based on what Williams is doing just driving him down allows him to bang this bend this right back get up pick up an extra 20 yards so really good work love seeing him work out in space 
a lot of alignment can't do this they can't climb to the second level and then get engaged with a linebacker gets perfectly squares him up and then sustains drives him down love the leg drive love the movement uses his own momentum against him and then creates that cutback lane for Mostert. This play right here was dominant up front from the Dolphins offensive line as a whole. They create a huge lane for the for the running back here first Chase Edmonds and just look at him body up the one tech here does a great job letting him shoot up field getting low gets that right hand in perfect position and uses that momentum forces him away gets him upfield and then creates a slam by giving his back to the running back exactly what you want to do and then the right side of the line just gets this huge clump of bills defender they don't fit the run well here either and williams makes a high level iq play allowing him to shoot up field using that penetration ability against him knowing that this hole is going to open up he stays low good hand placement and then just drives him out of the play so really good work there from connor williams last play that i'm going to break down week one versus the patriots Really like the subtlety on this play, setting this up. They're trying to work the reverse here, and he sort of sets up this defensive tackle by slow playing it, getting hands on him, and then once you know the timing has worked out, times this out well, lets the D-tackle work upfield, knows he's not going to be able to get to Tyreek, and then get out in space uh, and does a good job cutting off this guy, getting out in space, doing just enough on the linebacker there. Uh, so like this athleticism from him, pretty nice lateral agility, good setup, good timing, everything and then gives Tyreek Hill that choice to cut it back, does his job cutting off the linebacker there. So overall, really like Connor Williams' game, getting out in space, running the ball, climbing to the second level, working these combos, good play strength, good at aiming points, leverage, all of that, really nice for Connor Williams. In pass pro, does a nice job with his bend, his burst, he has a nice base, gets hands into chest, understands how to work high hand, low hand. He will also reset, has the ability to recover. He will overextend at times, but it's not a huge issue, especially um, at center. Not the biggest deal there, but he has a nice anchor to uh, win those situations. Anchor is very important in the center position. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.